Hey, this is Darling Side, and this is 1019 Kink, and we're here in the Skype Live studio. Hey, that's Darling Side right there on our stage. See, no, normally when we do interviews, like uh, you guys have microphones, so I guess we just have to share it. Step up to the microphone, right? All, all together now. That's how we for, do it. For Darling Side. Hey, thanks for taking time out for us today. Absolutely. Really, really, really thanks appreciate it. Us. When you guys started singing, I was like, that. They're piping it. They're piping something in. There's no way they sound like that. That sounded phenomenal. How, Thank you. How long did it take to realize? Now I I know it's the the band itself has gone through phases, especially early on. I think once upon a time there were seven members. True or false? Yeah, it's it's uh, back when we first met in college and we were playing together. We did have seven people piling in here uh, <laughs> yeah. when we first started uh, playing. Uh, out and professionally we had a five, five five member band with a full drum kit and everything yeah, yeah. and then and then it, it took to uh it took to this part of the darling side story so how how did you know that this is it this is this we got it all figured out one mic the four of us nobody else that's it game set match well i don't know if we would say game set match yet you know yeah like, we're always sort of evolving and we we sort of work from the songs like whatever the songs we're writing like we wouldn't be averse to having someone jump up and play some harmonium like there's a lot of that on our record and um so you know there's always a chance that we add somebody and we love having collaborators and other artists jump up with us so you know this isn't necessarily it but i think when we first started performing around the one mic there was a moment where we were like ah this is what feels like our rehearsals where we're just nice and close to one another and hearing our voices in the room before it hits the microphone and so i guess we did kind of have that moment with yeah. the four piece where we first got the the format down and, and a lot of the festivals that you play, the folk festivals predominantly, is there a lot of sharing of the mics with, with other bands and bringing others up to do collaborations, kind of off the cuff? We do enjoy that sort of thing, uh, just because uh, having this one microphone means that it's pretty easy to get somebody to just jump right up and start playing, you know, into the air, and it goes right into the microphone, and right. it's fine. It's, it's kind of hard for people sometimes to follow along with our songs because they're very uh, tightly arranged sure so there's not uh, you know many times where we whip around four chords and just say take a solo you know we may <laughs> we might have one of those in our set <laughs> right hey they're uh they got a new album out that's coming out later this week you should applaud them because it's hard to make a record <laughs> i'm serious man it's it's a it's a tip of the hat to you as artists and then and, and, you know to put it all together on an album form birds say will will be the record due out later this week and and we were saying earlier that uh we'll give them more they can actually get the record now i think is, is the story right that's right yeah, yeah yeah it's 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 up on all the all the media you know the <laughs> the, the itunes and the th things the <laughs> Amazons and the... The internets and the yeah, whatnots. The, the, the webs, the interwebs. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's technically, it's up for pre-order. Pre-order, so okay. If you get it on iTunes, you get a discount, you get a couple songs right away, and then the rest of them will drop into your inbox later in the week. You guys just came back from some pretty beautiful country out there in central Oregon. Tell us what was going on. I know you had the Sisters uh, Festival, Sisters Folk Festival. There was more to it that was going on, right? There was more... Uh, yeah, that, so this is our second year getting to... Uh, go to both the Sisters Folk Festival and the Americana Song uh, Camp that happens prior to the uh, to the festival and Sisters just uh, like a few minutes out of town. And uh, so for that camp, we got to go and hang out with a bunch of other artists and um, teach workshops and jump in and collaborate with uh, some of the songwriting students and other artists and that kind of thing. So that's just kind of a, a magical, uh, very spiritual place for us just to get to, get to do that kind of um, to, to watch people play their first song ever and to get to jump up and play back them up and, and just be a part of that whole scene. It's uh, it really sort of uh, refreshing and re revitalizing way to, to uh, come at the, um, it's just a, w a way of uh, interacting with, with music and musicians in, in a way that we don't normally get to at festivals. Sure. Uh, and then to go from that straight to the Sisters Folk Festival where literally the entire town uh, becomes a series of venues. And so you're crisscrossing and meeting up with folks from the camp and other musicians and that kind of thing. It's we are uh, feeling pretty high off that right now, and I think sure. slightly exhausted too because we didn't do a great job of managing sleep while we were there. <laughs> but, uh, but good morning. Yeah, <laughs> good morning. It, it is now post noon, but, um, <laughs> but yeah, that that uh, camp was, I think, the highlight of our 2014, and um, I can't speak as to 2015 right now, but it's it's uh, gunning for that top spot right now. It's such a wonderful place. That's super cool, watching and and taking these new songwriters. Yeah. And having them write so, and and perform for the first time. Some of them, some of them are, are more experienced folks uh, who uh, 
just come to the camp to, to hone their stuff. Um, but we, uh, you know, we tend to songwrite uh, all four of us together in, in, um, and have a, a process that we've sort of developed. We don't often get the chance to write with a lot of other people. Uh, so it's a, an opportunity that we relish uh, to arrange and work with other people. And, uh, and just the, it's a very supportive uh, environment there in general. And, and everyone is just sort of like excited to make art. And uh, that's just a really, um, it's a, it's a really fun place for us to, to get to be in an honor to, to get to work with folks like that. And a beautiful place to be. Yeah, certainly. I love it out there in Central Oregon. Unbelievable. Yeah. yeah we're, you know, it was, it was hard, to, hard to leave. Yeah. <laughs> Part of what makes it such a spiritual awakening is there's a physical element. It's next to the second deepest lake in Oregon, from what we hear, um, Blue Lake. And so you can jump in this volcanic blue, you know, totally clear water, and it just totally restarts your day. Harris and I recently um, gave up caffeine. Um, Ouch. Separately, not, it wasn't like we decided to do it together. It just happened yeah. to us. Um, <laughs> but So we've been hurting on that. So the lake was really important in jump-starting us. Yeah, if you can't have a cup of coffee or four, jump in a lake. 40 degrees. Yeah, yeah, yeah 40 yeah. degrees. Hey, thank you so much for uh, taking time out for us today. We really appreciate it. And we hope that you have you back next time. So I'm going to shut up. We'll let them play some more. Darling side, everybody. Thank you. Round of applause. Round of applause.